This short unit is about the concepts of natural selection, and we'll start off by talking about the natural selection, how Darwin initially proposed the idea, and then we'll talk about what we have been able to add to the concept since his time. So Darwin discovered that natural selection is the driving force behind evolution, and one of the things he discovered or pointed out is that more offspring are produced than can actually survive. Individuals in a population vary in their inherited characteristics. For instance, you might have inherited brown hair color from your parents, whereas your siblings might have inherited blonde hair color. Among individuals in a population, some are better competitors than others. The better competitors have more offspring than those that don't compete as well. And therefore, we expect the frequency of a particular characteristic that is better to increase in a population over time. And also, he pointed out that a population is the smallest unit that can actually evolve. There's a lot more detail to the Darwinian concept of natural selection, so make sure you check your readings so that you understand all of these concepts and how they fit together. The modern synthesis is that Darwin's theory is still supported by uh, huge amount of evidence, but we know more details now than he did in the 1800s when he published his theory. So now we know that genes are where these characteristics come from. Variations in characteristics are the results of alleles. And remember, we talked about alleles when we discussed Mendelian genetics. So go back over the lectures and the readings from those sections if you need a refresher. And also, we know now that evolution can take thousands of years, although in some cases it can happen over the course of a few generations. So, once again, make sure you understand the concepts that Darwin came up with and what we have been able to add to those concepts since then with the modern synthesis.